Hi guys, this is Precious and we are moving steadily. So in this video, we will be talking about user inputs. So let's create the file that we will be using to do that. User inputs. So the idea of this section is for us to be able to collect information from the user and display it on the screen. So let's begin. The reason why I type this every time is so that you can always follow and understand it or you can get it in your memory. So while I do it every time, you can always see me do it and you can understand why I have to do it. So this is the basic structure of any of your C file or your C program. So we'll return zero. Now let's begin. The first thing we want to do is to set a variable. So let's assume we want to collect the user age. We want to know the user age. We can start with int. So we initialize a variable called age, right? But it's empty right now. Then we proceed. So we use a printf to ask a question. So let's say we want to ask, how old are you, right? So we use a printf to do that. How old are you? Like you know already, this is a question, so it demands an answer. Now this brings us to the big one. So for you to be able to collect information that the user enters, you use scanf. Scanf is like the opposite of printf. You use printf to display results, you use scanf to collect results. So the result we are collecting here is an integer. And the format specifier for an integer is percentage %i or percentage %d, then the name of the variable. Okay? But we need to do something here. You need to add an ampersand. What this does is that it helps you to trace this variable to its location in the memory. Or let's just call this sign the memory address. So the memory address helps you to store the variable in memory. So it gives you the location of where this variable is stored. In subsequent videos, you would see the memory address in action. And now that we've collected the user inputs, the next thing is for us to also display the result, right? So something like you are format specifier. So we want to say you are 100 years old, you know, something like that. You are, so that's where the variable will be. You are, you get it, the format specifier, you are years old. Then now the variable that would replace the format specifier is age okay so let's save now let's run this as you can see nothing is displaying and that is because if you're using vs code this terminal only does output for us to be able to collect inputs and output we have to use terminal but it won't work now for it to work we need to do a setting but if you're using just terminal alone compiling from GCC directly, you don't need to do this, but if you're on VS Code, you have to do this. So let's go to settings and let's search for code runner. So the settings we are looking for is the one that says run in terminal, right? So this is it run code runner, run in terminal. Then you check it, and now that it is checked, we can go back and rerun this script. So let's run the code. And now you see it's in the terminal and it's asking how old are you? And I would say 100 years. And as you can see, it says you are 100 years old. Let's try it again. Let's rerun the code again. How old are you? I'm going to say 300. Enter. And it says you are 300 years old. Let me clear this. Now, what if you want to just, you want to also take the name of the person, not just the age so we want to do something like a hey, precious how are you you are so so years old so the first thing we need to do is to set the variable for the string so if you realize my name is not just a character it's not like a b c d you know one character is a string so you have p r e c i o u s that makes up my name so that means you have to set that inside of an array so you say char or character, 
then name, then ensure you put these brackets, okay? Then you close it. So you use the square brackets to declare an array. Then inside of it, you have to set the size of the array. So you have to set the numbers of characters or bytes that you can use inside of the array. So let's set this to 40. So we want to use 40 bytes in this array. And now, how do we collect information for this array? You start your printf again. So let's ask for the person's name. So what is your name, all right? Printf, what is your name? Then we have to use scanf to collect the information that has been entered. So you say scanf. Then the format specifier for string is an S, percentage S. Then you collect the name. Take note, for string, you don't use the memory address. You don't need it. But you need it for integer. So for string, we're not going to use the AND. Take note of the difference, please. For string, no AND. But for integer, there is an AND. And also for single characters, there is an AND. So let's continue. And now, let's display the result for the name. Isn't it? So we have print F. Let's say, how are you, then the name, so call the format specifier here, S, string, how are you, you know, precious, welcome. So let's do something like, how are you, precious, welcome. So the variable is name. So let me put this right up here just before the age printout. So let me explain what we've done here before I run the script. We first declare an integer, a variable called age. We also declared a variable called name that will collect an array of characters. Then we will be asking, what is your name? Then we are going to collect the information entered by the user. Then we also proceed to ask, how old are you? Then we also collect the information entered by the user. Also, for string, we don't need the memory address, but for integer, we need the memory address. Now we are printing both results. How are you? So the name will be replaced here. Then the variable that will collect the name to replace it here. Then also we did print F for the age. You are percentage D years old. Then this age will replace this. So let's try this. Let's run this in the code. I just saved. So run. So what is your name? My name is Precious. Enter. How old are you? I'm 300 years old. So you see, it says, how are you, Precious? Welcome. You are 300 years old. Let me put a new line character so that we can see this properly. Then let me clear this terminal again. So let's rerun the code. What is your name? My name is Precious. How old are you? I'm 400 years old. So you see, it says, how are you, precious? Welcome. What we have here. Then the next one goes ahead to say, you are 400 years old. But what if I want to enter my full name? So let me do that. Let me clear the terminal. And let me enter my full name. So I'm going to say, my name is precious. Take note of the space now. Okay, now you can see what has happened. Our scripts can't continue. Instead, it just appears the result immediately. How are you, precious, without my second name or my last name? Sorry. So, the problem is scanf can only work till the next white space. If it meets a white space, it's going to stop. So, if we have something like hello Greek as the input, Scanf will only collect a low only and it will ignore this guy and it will kill the script. So for you to be able to use scanf and use space, you have to use another function called fgets. Okay. So fgets will make fgets is like scanf, but fget makes it easy for us to work with what's it called? String characters. So let me comment this out.
and let's use f get so f gets f gets is going to take in three arguments the first one is the variable which is name remember where our variable name is name then the second one is the character counts or the bytes or size that you want so let's make it the same let's say 40 then the next one is standard input so this is what is going to collect the input for us okay now let's do this so now i will be able to use my full name and we won't have this problem anymore so i've saved this and let me run it with i won't clear the terminal so that you can compare the results okay so let me run this now what is your name precious now there's a space in between as you can see how old are you i'm going to use 500 this time and now you see how are you precious welcome but there's a problem with using f gets okay f gets is going to push the next line after your input into a new line so for us to correct this this is a bit advanced so you may not need to watch this anymore but let me just do it because we are still going to practice this in when we get to string functions so to correct this issue here where the other output goes to the new line we have to use a function called string length so to correct the problem all we do is just say name the variable then we get the length of the string so strul length means string length okay like the, the um, sorry the length of the string so we want to get the length of the string name so when we get the strength the length minus one from it okay when you get the length minus one from it and when you minus one make it equal to percentage zero so there should be no new line there anymore that is what it means so let's rerun this and let's see if it works if if welcome is going to be in front of precious oh sorry there's an error there not percentage sorry slash so let me clear this yeah it still wants to run okay so now let's do it now so run i'm going to save this then i would run it again strlen of course oh sorry so for us to use the function we have to call in the string header okay take note of the header so include string dot h okay we have to call in the string header that is why we are having that complaint there because it can't find the header so now that we've called in the string header we can now use the string function okay so we're a bit ahead but it's okay so i'm going to clear this again let's rerun the script Where is that? Okay. Okay, now let's go. What is your name? Precious Ireo enter how old are you 400 and now you see it says how are you precious Ireo? welcome you are 400 years old don't worry if you don't understand why i use this here and the string header in the next video in couple of videos we're going to see the string functions in action but for now please practice on how you can output characters and integers and strings okay I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.